Have you ever wondered what it truly means to awaken spiritually? The term spiritual awakening typically paints a picture of tranquility, enlightenment, and an all-encompassing sense of peace. It's a phrase that evokes images of individuals ascending to a higher plane of understanding, breaking free from the constraints of the material world, and embracing a journey toward enlightenment. But what if I were to tell you that this journey is not always as serene as it appears? That, akin to the physical world, the spiritual realm too has its own set of trials and tribulations? Yes, spiritual awakening can indeed be a path littered with hurdles. A journey that is just as much about navigating through the shadows as it is about basking in the light. The reality is, spiritual awakening is not always a peaceful journey. While it can indeed lead to profound understanding and inner peace, the path to get there is often fraught with challenges. This is the unexplored side of spiritual awakening. The side that isn't always discussed in hushed conversations or in the sacred corners of a meditation room. It's a side that introduces you to a world where the newfound confusion can be perplexing, where the feeling of disconnection can bring a sense of solitude, and where the heightened sense of empathy can make you more susceptible to pain. It's a journey that can lead you to question your very existence, bringing forth existential questions that demand answers. Yet, it's precisely these darker shades of spiritual awakening that make the journey worthwhile, for in embracing these challenges, in navigating through the unexplored, we find the strength to grow, to evolve, and ultimately, to awaken. As we delve into the less traversed path of spiritual awakening, let's unmask the darker side effects that come along with it. Let's embrace the unexplored, for it is only in the unknown that we truly find ourselves. Imagine waking up one day and finding the world around you isn't what you thought it was. You've opened your eyes, but the reality you thought you knew has shifted, and you're left standing in a realm of uncertainty. This is the perplexity of newfound confusion, a common yet often overlooked side effect of spiritual awakening. In this journey of awakening, one's perception of the world undergoes a profound transformation. You start to question things you once took for granted. The societal norms and values you've lived by suddenly seem superficial and the world that you've been so familiar with appears alien and overwhelming. This shift in perspective, although enlightening, can be incredibly disorientating. Imagine being tossed into the deep end of a pool without knowing how to swim. That's how it feels when you first awaken. You're submerged in a sea of new insights and revelations, struggling to stay afloat amidst the waves of confusion. It's not uncommon to feel lost to grapple with the unfamiliarity of your own thoughts and emotions. And it's not just about understanding the world around you. It's also about understanding yourself. You may find yourself caught in a whirlwind of self-exploration, trying to piece together the fragments of your identity, your purpose, your beliefs. It's like trying to solve a puzzle, but the picture keeps changing and the pieces don't seem to fit anymore. This state of confusion can take an emotional toll on individuals. It can stir up feelings of fear, anxiety, and even despair. But remember, this is all part of the journey. It's a process of shedding old beliefs, of breaking down walls, of discovering your true self. Yes, the path is fraught with challenges. Yes, the confusion can be overwhelming. But this confusion is also an indication of growth, of evolution. It's a sign that you're breaking free from the shackles of conditioned thinking, that you're stepping out of your comfort zone and venturing into the unknown. The journey of awakening is not without its challenges, and confusion is often the first hurdle to overcome. But rest assured, with patience and perseverance, you will navigate through this perplexity, and in doing so, you'll find a deeper understanding not just of the world around you, but also of yourself. Ever felt disconnected like you're from another planet or dimension? This is a feeling many of us encounter on our spiritual journey, a sense of being out of sync, like an alien in a world we once knew so well. It's as if everyone is speaking a language that we used to understand but has now become foreign to us. This disconnection isn't limited to conversations. It permeates every aspect of our lives. We might feel detached from our routines, our relationships, even our own bodies. This sensation of disconnection is more than just feeling out of place. 
It's an existential loneliness, a solitude that seeps into the very fabric of our existence. We start to see the world in a different light, our perceptions shifting, our values realigning. And it's in this altered state of consciousness that we often feel misunderstood, even by those closest to us. Imagine standing on one side of a vast river, watching everyone else on the other side going about their lives. You shout across the water, but your words are carried away by the wind. That's the kind of solitude we're talking about here. It can be incredibly isolating, leaving us feeling as though we're walking a path that no one else can see. But here's the thing. This disconnection, this solitude, it's not a punishment. It's a part of the process, a phase of the spiritual awakening journey. It's like shedding an old skin, leaving behind what no longer serves us. It's a transition, a metamorphosis, pushing us to delve into the depths of our existence. It's natural to feel intimidated by this disconnection. It's a vast, uncharted territory within us that we're exploring. But remember, every explorer feels lost at times. It's in these moments of solitude that we find our strength, our courage, and our true selves. The disconnection can be intimidating, but it's a step towards understanding the depth of our existence. So take a deep breath, embrace the solitude, and keep walking your path. You're not alone in your journey. You're simply on the cusp of a profound transformation. What if every pain, every emotion was amplified tenfold? Picture this. You're walking down a familiar path only now. Each step resonates with a depth of feeling you've never experienced before. This is the reality for many who undergo a spiritual awakening, an experience that often brings with it a heightened sense of pain. As we delve deeper into our spiritual journey, we may find ourselves becoming more attuned to the world's suffering. We are no longer mere observers. Instead, we become participants in the collective experience of pain. This increased empathy and emotional sensitivity is not a curse, but rather a gift that allows us to understand the human condition more profoundly. Imagine feeling the sorrow of a stranger's loss as if it were your own, or the joy of a child's laughter resonating within your very soul. These are the deep connections made possible through heightened empathy. But with this newfound sensitivity comes a greater awareness of the pain and suffering that exists in the world. It's like turning up the volume on your emotional stereo. Suddenly every note, every chord strikes with an intensity that can be overwhelming. The world's joys are magnified, but so too are its sorrows. An unkind word or a moment of anger can feel like a blow while acts of kindness can touch the heart profoundly. This heightened sense of pain can lead to an overwhelming sense of responsibility. We might feel compelled to alleviate the suffering we see in the world and frustrated when we realize we can't alleviate all of it. But it's important to remember that this deep capacity to feel is also a testament to our capacity to love, to care, and to connect on a more profound level. Yes, the world can be a place of great suffering, but it's also a place of great beauty, love, and connection. And as we navigate the often turbulent waters of our spiritual awakening, we learn to embrace the full spectrum of human experience. The heightened sense of pain can be overwhelming, but it's a mirror reflecting our capacity to feel, care, and love deeply. Embrace this heightened sensitivity as a sign of your expanding heart. It's not an easy journey, but it's one that promises a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Does the question, why am I here, ring a bell? You've likely heard this query, or perhaps it's even echoed in your own mind. It's one of the most fundamental existential questions that arise during spiritual awakening. But it's not the only one. Who am I? What is my purpose? What is the nature of reality? These are not mere philosophical musings but urgent inquiries that demand answers as we traverse the path of awakening. These questions, while they can be unsettling, are not signs of crisis, but rather their evidence of growth. They signal a shift from a life lived on autopilot to a life examined and lived consciously. They indicate a move from the surface to the depths, from the external to the internal, from the known to the unknown. As we delve into these existential questions, we begin to realize that they don't have definitive answers. And yet it's in the seeking of answers that we find meaning. 
It's in the inquiry that we discover a deeper understanding of our purpose and place in the universe. Who am I? This question invites us to strip away the layers of identity we've accumulated over the years, our jobs, our roles, our labels, and to meet our true, essential selves. What is my purpose? This question nudges us to not just exist, but to live. To not just go through the motions, but to act with intention. To not just inhabit the world, but to contribute to it in our unique way. What is the nature of reality? This question challenges us to question our perceptions, to question the stories we've been told, and to question the boundaries we've set for ourselves. It's a call to expand our minds, to embrace the mystery, and to acknowledge the interconnectedness of all things. These existential questions may seem daunting, but they are the gateways to profound insights about our existence. They're invitations to explore, to learn, and to grow. They're signposts on our journey, pointing us towards a deeper, richer, and more meaningful life. Spiritual awakening, it's not a destination, but a journey. A journey that's not always paved with roses, sometimes it's lined with thorns. The thorns of confusion, the solitude, the amplified pain, and the existential questions, they all play a part. They are not obstacles, but stepping stones, guiding us towards a deeper realm of understanding and self-discovery. Each twist and turn, each stumble and fall, they are but chapters in the book of our spiritual growth. The perplexities we face are but the layers of our consciousness, peeling away to reveal the true essence of our being. The solitude we experience is the silence that gives voice to our innermost thoughts. The pain we feel is the mirror reflecting our empathy, and the existential questions are the keys unlocking the doors to our soul. So let's embrace the journey, the highs and the lows. Remember, every dark night has a bright dawn. The challenges are part of the journey and they pave the way to a deeper understanding of self and the universe.